Hey everyone, this is Mindy Rosser here from MindyRosser.com and I'm going to show you how I use my co-schedule calendar. I'm going to go through it quickly because they have lots of good tutorials that will take you in depth when you are going through co-schedule. Basically, I use my co-schedule calendar to keep track of all the posts that I'm going to write, both for my website, for any sites where I'm repurposing uploading content such as Medium or LinkedIn Pulse, and also any guest blogs that I'm writing for other sites. So it's really helpful to see everything on a calendar. And when I plotted my calendar, this is how it looked. So I decided how often I wanted to publish on different sites, um, whether it was monthly, weekly, bi-weekly, and then I just plugged it into the calendar with the type of content that it is and noted which type of site it is going to. So for me, you can see this little orange line here, green line, this, green, this different green line, and what each of those stand for to me are the types of sites that I'm posting to. So an orange means it's a guest blog for a new site. Um, this color green is for my own website. This color green is for my company website. This blue is for LinkedIn Pulse, and the yellow is for Medium. So that's how I plot out my calendar. And this pink here is for my newsletter that goes out. For me, I just like the visual look to it, which is why I do it that way. Um, you can also do really cool stuff here on CoSchedule, such as using their headline analyzer tool. I really like this tool. I use it for all of my posts. Before I publish them, I try to optimize this with their tool and it's built right in. I used to go to their website and do it manually, but I love it that it's so simple on the CoSchedule calendar. The other thing that's really important to me in using CoSchedule is these templates here and the different tasks that need to happen for each blog post or piece of content to go up. Um, because I write for different sites, I feel like this is really important because each site that I write for has a different upload and publishing process. So I just plugged all of those steps for each website into a nice template here. So you can see I have all of these templates for the different sites I write for. And then when I plot that post on my calendar, I just attach this template and it's already set with all the timelines of when things need to happen, how many days before publishing, um, the day of, the day after. So that's really helpful and it tells me here how far along towards publishing that post I am at any given time. Um, when I am writing my content, I usually like to write in a Google Doc, so you can easily attach a Google Doc here just by connecting it to your Google Docs section and typing it in here, and it will automatically attach your post. So you can work on it and link to it right in CoSchedule. So I think, as for now, that's what I'm using CoSchedule for most. I'm experimenting a little bit with using their ReQ tool, but I am not an expert in that yet. So if you are just looking for a calendar tool that also has social sharing capabilities, I feel like CoSchedule could be a really good fit, um, especially if you are only working with one site and you're on a limited budget. If you do have a good size marketing budget and have multiple clients, then you might want to also add multiple calendars to your CoSchedule account. But for me, I'm just using it for myself and I'm really enjoying it. It's not even been a month yet and I'm already finding myself more productive. So I hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions about CoSchedule and how I use it, let me know, Mindy at MindyRoster.com. Thank you.